Hello everybody, welcome to the ASIC channel where we review some of the products we sell. Make sure you subscribe um, as to not miss anything that I am doing and posting. Yes, today we will be having a look at a Motorola product which is the DP1400. In this case it is a UHF radio. The product code for this as you can see is a very long number but it is an international code for Motorola. Locally we know this as a DP1400. In this case it is a UHF device. You'll see it comes in a plain packaged recycled box typical of Motorola doing it this way square box they change the packaging a while back inside you'll be see we have the antenna I have just for this review opened the antenna so long so we can see small antenna and there is no indication on the bottom as to what the split is Motorola puts their name on it Next up, we have the battery. Battery also packaged in recycled paper. Very thick battery. Motorola stuff is usually big. Very thick battery with the date, manufacture date on there. We also have the capacity of 1400 milliampere hours, and I know this is a 4, a 7.2 volt battery, not 4.2. Big battery, charging pins at the bottom, place for the latch, which is a problem for these devices, and I'll discuss that later on. Next up, in this package we have the belt clip, and as mentioned before, what I don't like about it, it although it has a metal latch to latch into there, it becomes problematic as it can damage the battery there. The latch can be damaged, which means it does slide out. It has nothing to stop it once the slide has become damaged. This is a problem on these radios. Um, I do not know why Motorola has never looked at it. Um, but yes, uh, in my mind, that's a shortcoming. Uh, Motorola must address this um, seriously. Um, I know of a few cases where <clears throat> the latch has failed and the battery fell fell into water and actually was beyond economical repair. Nevertheless, um, we have a two-prong charger. Which I do not like. This seems to be the standard of all chargers. Is the two-point plug. Make sure if you have these that you have adapters available. Um, with a normal what seems like a 2.5 DC plug um, and yes a normal 14 volt output um, this will probably work if you make your own uh, 12 volt um, supply cable for a vehicle I do not know what the tolerance on this is and will the charger actually allow you to go down to let's say 13.5 or something where your alternator works we'll have a look at that later on a typical Motorola charger and they haven't changed this design for quite a while so I don't expect any change to see any change in this um, we can open it up and see nice typical Motorola charger with one little LED on it charging pins and the slides on some of these chargers you have to take this part out turn it around for the higher capacity battery I suppose the one that they come supplied is the one for the supplied battery but it is possible that you can change this for a different type battery ie the higher capacity battery let's look at the back what it says typical yeah if you plug it in <clears throat> it will show you that there's power but it shows you different states of the batteries different states of the battery which is quite extensive I'm not going to go through it 
you can pause and read it yourself um, I'm not going to go through this it'll make my videos just too long we have the pin at the back it's got a nice weight to it keeps the battery from falling over while charging right next up we have the device only being covered by a piece of paper I haven't seen this lately but nevertheless we have our Motorola GP1400 radio Motorola is always top-notch they do a lot of research they put a lot of research into things I don't like the latch at the bottom as mentioned before they probably have good reasons for doing it like it I don't like it um, the simple reason that if you do drop the radio um, the mere weight of the battery tends to break that part out and you have permanent damage you have to bring the radio in for service to replace the housing and to keep the battery to stay there um, also what happens <coughs> if the bottom part gets damaged the latch will jump out Nevertheless, let's have a look and see. Pushes in position, a nice positive click, and they have a locking mechanism where you press it. Press it to the bottom. Okay. Device is nicely latched in. Okay, what we have is a Motorola style antenna socket. Now guys, the technicians among us, please know that you need a special adapter to insert there. I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's a little pin at the bottom. Because you don't get an earth off of this. So for external antennas and for testing purposes you will need an adapter they are quite pricey but there you go it's not SMA like the other stuff so you have the antenna on there short antenna shorter than the radio um, this is a big radio Motorola makes strong sturdy stuff um, the light on the bottom I press it probably indicates that the channel is not programmed nice big volume control small small channel control knob accessory adapter space on the side okay and we have a PDT button with two programmable side buttons and there you go that is the radio let's have a look at the charger I'll bring the charger there I've recently learned to bring in a uh, <coughs> adapter fit it to the adapter what I do like about Motorola is if you do fit it you immediately know that there's power it shows you that there's power you unplug it plug it in you know there's power okay does not waste any power sitting being idle but it shows you that there is power the moment you switch it on once you insert the radio easy it is not difficult to get this radio in once you get it in it shows you the state of the battery and whether it's charging or not Motorola has years of experience and they just seem to do things right um, where the cheaper brands often make mistakes which Motorola has overcome already Nevertheless, this was my review on the Motorola GP1400 radio. I must just have a comment saying once again I do not like the latch. I'm not going to open the latch but as you can see it only latches onto plastic and locks, and locks in position there. This is a heavy radio. If you do carry it on your belt there could be somewhere there. Um, 
and it it doesn't fit anymore it could lock out um which which is a problem um but the advantage of having a latch on the battery versus one on the radio is that it is easy replaceable um yeah it's easy replaceable when you replace the battery the price of the motorola batteries are very expensive um there you go it takes off easy slide it in position it has a locking mechanism where you can turn it to the side and it cannot cannot accidentally open typical of motorola nice radio must say big radio um fills your whole hand it has the microphone in the same space as the speaker not in a separate position um, just on top of the name tag here yeah. and yes big radio big bulky radio some customers like this they want to feel it to a radio nice charger rapid charger it will charge the battery within an hour and a half or so there you go my review of the dp 1400 motorola radio um, from us um, thanks for watching please make sure you subscribe um, make sure you receive the notifications if you have any comments you are welcome to leave them in the comments below i will certainly get back to you read all the comments any suggestions is always good um, yes that is the motorola dp1400 professional licensed to a radio thanks for watching